The best Pokemon are going rogue again on the 3DS. Nintendo has announced Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, the latest entry in the long-running Mystery Dungeon spin-off series. The games are known for being a little different from the regular Pokemon titles, offering roguelike combat in randomly generated dungeons. The last Mystery Dungeon game was released on the 3DS back in 2012, and Nintendo promises that the next game will have even bigger dungeons that change more often with more legendary and mythical Pokemon to catch. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon will hit North America this winter. <laughs> FBI agent Johnny Utah is back on the case. Take a look at the first trailer for Point Break, a remake of the 1991 blockbuster that starred Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. This time around, the criminals are thrill-seeking extreme athletes, not just surfers, although it looks like they'll still find time to ride a few waves. They're also not just bank robbers anymore, but modern-day crusaders for economic justice who steal from the 1% to give to the 99% because, you know, economic justice and everything. The new Point Break will hit theaters on December 25th because who doesn't like watching action movies on Christmas Day? Stop! Some fun stuff to talk about today. Here is my personal Bodie, Scott C. Jones. Uh, let's talk about Pokemon Mystery yes, Dungeon Pikachu, first. I love it. Yeah, well, we've got uh, kind of a roguelike light or a rogue light kind of, uh, kind of coat of paint over the Pokemon universe. Yes. This is obviously a successful part of the Pokemon franchise. Yes. Not the main game blockbuster, but a nice uh, deviation that people uh, gravitate towards and have a good time with. I've enjoyed the Mystery Dungeon stuff that I've reviewed in the past, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what Nintendo's done this time. You know, I think we've all gotten more used to these rogue-like games over the years. Yeah. I mean, I still play Rogue Legacy, and that's actually coming to the Xbox One soon. So this uh, sort of self-generating kind of game world is very exciting, I think, for gamers. It still feels kind of new and fresh, yeah. and I feel the Pokemon series kind of going off on a little tangent here that people really have been positively responding to. Well, it's a, it's a good fit, I think. You know, when we're talking about randomly generated monsters that you can collect and all that stuff, it's a, a good kind of... Who's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, it's always Pikachu. Do you still like Pikachu? He's the mascot. He's the cool guy. I like, he's got electrical powers. He's charming. It's like I don't know you at all. All right, Point Break is coming back. Yes. Um, and it's not a IMAX re-release of the original. Come on, Hollywood. Yeah. It's a it's a total reboot of uh, what has become a better movie with time passing this every is one year. One of your favorites. Well, I I really enjoy the movie. Catherine Bigelow directed it. It's just an action picture with uh, a little bit of soul because Patrick Swayze as Bodhi was actually pretty darn cool and convincing as this charismatic bad guy that everybody fell in love with, including uh, Keanu Reeves as, as the, the hero in the picture. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to understand wh why we need this movie. Wh yeah. wh why does it exist at all? That's my <laughs> that's my question for myself every day. But, you know, it does kind of feel like with the success of the Fast and Furious franchise, yes. they're trying to launch this into the same kind of orbiting atmosphere. I'm wondering if uh, Keanu Reeves' Johnny Utah will make an appearance in here. I was thinking, like, yeah. how interesting would it be to have him appear as a villain? Yeah. Like, that would be so well, cool. Well, they have a new Bodhi, though. I, I don't know. Everything just feels wrong <laughs> to me. They have a new Bodhi. Well, I don't that's, even know what language you're speaking. That's the name of the character. You have a new Bodhi. Uh, I had a Bodhi <laughs> removed just last <laughs> week at the doctor's. <laughs> it's it's hard to get new stuff to uh, sort of make we'll any... To sure. get any notice out there. Yeah, we'll see We're it for see sure. It, yeah. So, re remakes and reboots boots are inevitable. They are also inevitable in the video game industry. Let's go behind the scenes right now for our E3 preview. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.